it's Kate from The Bold Line. I am back this week with the new sewing pattern releases for the last month, which was February. I love how I needed to think which month it was. Um, we've got some really lovely patterns to talk about. It wasn't like a bumper month in terms of the release front um, when I was kind of collating all of this. Um, yeah, not loads and loads of releases this month, but I've got some, I've got two, four, six, seven really nice patterns to talk to you about. Um, before I get going on that, I just wanted to say a big thank you um, for ev everyone who came to see us at the Stitch Festival at the weekend or end of last week. Um, for those who didn't make it, it's a um, it, what, it used to be called the Knitting Stitching Show, and they've sort of rebranded it, um, which is a, it's a sort of sewing retail fair where you can come and basically spend an entire day surrounded by fabric and sewing patterns. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came up to the stand and kind of said that they liked watching the videos or reading our blogs or bought a pattern or just chatted about a pattern. It was really nice to meet everyone and thank you for kind of battling your way through because it was quite crowded to actually come and see us. So very, very much appreciated. Right, I am going to get going. My laptop is here and talk to you about new patterns. So the first one I have to talk to you about is the Deo dress and blouse from Mason. Mason, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, Mason. Um, this comes in sizes 8 to 20. It's available on the online shop. I absolutely love this pattern. Now someone actually at the Stitches Festival came up to me and um, they had made it having seen it on our Instagram and it looked amazing. So the it's a very simple construction. If I show you the line drawings, you'll see how easy it is. So it's a very simple shift dress or kind of simple top. Um, it's got a scoop necked front. It's got these lovely little pleat details um, at the front, which means that you don't need bust darts. And then the kind of core, two core features is the shearing on the sleeve and the shearing on the um, waist. Now anyone who thinks that shearing is really hard to do, it, honestly, I promise you, it's so much easier than it looks. There are amazing YouTube videos, so if you just type, just um, Google like YouTube video on shearing, you'll see it and understand how easy it is. It's really simple, it's just, all you have to do is put this like really fine elastic into your sewing machine and it just, yeah, it's, it's easy, it's, I promise you it's not hard. But it gives a really, really dramatic look. So you can see from the pictures, you've got this beautiful kind of bell-shaped sleeve. Um, and that is just from adding, you know, if you didn't want to do the shearing, you could probably add an elasticated um, a, a channel around the cuff and also in the waist. But shearing is nice because it doesn't um, pull in as tight as normal elastic. It has, it's much more, it's got more give to it. But it's a very simple shape, it wouldn't take you that long, and I think it's, it gives a really lovely effect. I love the idea of this being made in terms of fabrication. You can make this in a viscose, you could, it'd be lovely in the summer to have this in like a lightweight cotton. It would feel so nice, like a cotton lawn. Or even, um, you could have this in a linen as well and it would look lovely. I just thought it was a really good core pattern that most people would probably enjoy wearing. Um, yeah, so, and it wouldn't take that long to make either. Right, next up we have got, um, well this is a collection of patterns but I thought I'd, I've kind of picked one. So, Liberty, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, Liberty have released, as in the shop, have released a range of patterns. Um, there are six in the collection. We've got them on the online shop. A couple of them have already sold out and I have I, I have ordered more to come in and I hope they'll be here very, very soon. But the one I wanted to talk to you about is probably the one that, it's not the one that everyone's gone nuts for, it's the one that I thought was the most interesting out of the collection. Um, it's the Florence Palazzo suit. So this comes in sizes um, UK, kind of four to six to 18 to 20. Um, so when you look at this, I thought this was a, I'm sure you thought the same, was a jumpsuit. So one piece of clothing, but actually when you look at the line drawings, which I will show you, it's actually all separate, which I thought was really nice. And the variations, there's two different variations um, for the top and two for the bottom. So 
I just thought they were really cool. Like, I haven't seen anything like this. There's a lot of things on the high street at the moment where you make two items in the same fabric and you wear them together so it looks like a full outfit. So it's quite on trend. It's got like great sleeves and I thought you could actually wear all the bits separately and they'd look really nice. So the two top versions, the first one is a very cropped kind of little, almost like a little bolero jacket with a tie at the front. Um, obviously you could completely wear this with nothing underneath but it would also look nice if you wanted to wear a strap top. Um, it's got a tie at the front and these kind of big flared sleeves. The second version is slightly more like a tailored jacket. It's got these, um, it's got the, um, oh come on Kate, you know what I mean, at the front of a classic coat, the lapels, that's it, the lapels. And then it has a tie at the front. Um, it's got quite a lot of shaping you can see from the reverse in the back. It's got shaping up around the top of the shoulder and also just at the back of the um, bodice. So I think it, I think there's a lot of things that you could do with this and I think it would be, I just really liked it. So the two variations for the trousers, the trousers as you can see from this sit a high waisted. They've got this really nice um, V shaped um, waistband. I'm assuming that they've got a pocket in, let's just have a look, I, oh they've got a zip up the centre back so you don't have to put a fly in, they're very loose fitting, they're quite an easy trouser to make, if you haven't done trousers before this would definitely be a way to go. Um, all you need to do is spend your time getting the waistband fitting right and then the trousers should just float off from there. The second version of this is a pair of uh, shorts which would be great for summer. So I just thought this was really interesting, but I will pop a link also to the entire collection so you can go and have a look. Hopefully we'll have a couple more back in stock um, very, very soon. Right, up next we have got, which I'm very excited about, the latest issue of Fibre Mood magazine. For anyone who hasn't seen this, they are a Belgian company um, and they are, um, it's, come on Kate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I'm my I'm trying my voice is you know where you you know words are supposed to come out but they're just sort of not. Um so this is a pattern magazine. Um I'm sure many of you have have come across it. If not, I'll just quickly explain. Um at the beginning of the magazine you have um like almost like a lookbook, so you can see all the patterns on models really beautifully shot. In the middle you have the um, the actual pattern sheets. These are overlapped, but um, not crazy birder amount. You have two patterns per sheet. And there's also a link in the magazine to download the PDF. So you can download it if you want, so you don't have to trace them off. And then the instructions are the, at the back. So in terms of um, value for money, it's fantastic. This is £14.50 and you get about 20 different patterns. There are also usually a couple of knitting patterns included. So this is their spring offering um, and they've got some really beautiful things in there. They've got a lovely, amazing trench coat which is on the front cover. They've got a beautiful wrap dress which would be really simple to make. They've also got um, a couple of kids patterns. Just go and have a look. I'll pop a link and you can go and have a look because on, on the product page you can actually see every single pattern. But it's a really good selection and I think if you're looking, you know, all of us have limits on how much we can spend on our hobby, this is a very nice way to get a few patterns for not a huge amount of money. So that is that one. Um, up next uh, we have got, now I'm I can't remember, I think I've mentioned this before, I can't remember if I have. We've just started stocking McCall's patterns, um, it has taken us so long, I can't even tell you how to get them online, but they are finally online. So if you love McCall's, they are there to, in amongst all the indies, take it or leave it. But I thought it might be nice this time to include one of their new range, which have just come out in the last week or so, their summer collection. Um, also, I wanted to ask what you think of their new branding. So they've just relaunched McCall's, um, they've rebranded it for the first time in a long time. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. I'll pop a picture of, a co of the cover so you can see it. Um, they've changed the logo a bit. It's supposed to be sort of young and, young and trendy and yeah, I'd love to know what you think of it. 
but this dress was really beautiful and I thought well let's just shoehorn it in so this is the M8035 it comes in sizes I think okay it comes in sizes I think it's American sizes 4 to 20 um, there are two different size bandings for this pattern but the dress is really beautiful um, obviously with McCall's they come with quite a lot of variations as well so there are three variations it's a sort of maxi dress wrap version it's got a beautiful kind of big puffy sleeve um, and it's elasticated just underneath the waist so in terms of construction this is really simple you, you're not going to have loads of fit issues with this um, the only issue you're going to have if you're slightly bigger busted you might want to just twirl the wrap because anyone who has got a bigger bust knows that's the bit where you, you get the gaping but um, it's a really beautiful pattern and the variations are nice as well so there's different t you can add tiers of ruffles to your skirt you can also add a little peplum which is really nice um, and the maxi skirt has got slits up the side which I quite like because if any, I'm sure you've worn maxi dresses before you, and I end up just tripping over the whole time and actually having slits means you don't <laughs> trip over yourself as much. But yeah, I thought it was a really nice pattern and a good offering for summer. I think that was one that probably will be quite popular and not too difficult to make either. Up next, we have got the Fuller Cardigan from Cashmerette. This is available on the online shop. It comes in sizes UK 14 to 34. Um, Cashmirette, if you haven't come across her, specialises in curvy sewing patterns. The other fantastic thing that she does is she puts multiple bus cup options with her patterns. Thank God. So it means that you don't have to do full bust adjustments. If you haven't come across her patterns before, I would highly recommend going and having a look, especially if you're bigger busted. They are just really cleverly cut. So this is a really lovely layering piece. It's a very classic cardigan. There are two variations. There's a slightly more um, there's a slightly more cropped version, which would look as you can see, Cashmere uh, it's where, or Jenny, sorry, is wearing it um, with a skirt. So it's slightly cropped, slightly tighter fitted. Um, the the um, the sleeves on this are raglan sleeves, which means they're really easy to insert and um, it's just a really good layering piece. The other nice thing about it is that she's put bust darts in, which I think is really clever. Not that many people do it with jersey and it makes a massive difference to the fit. Um, I just think it's a really, if you're looking for a cardigan or for, you know, to layer up, I think I would highly recommend this one. So she really does know what she's doing, this lady, she's nailing it. So that's that one. Next up, we've got this, oh gosh, it's going to be one of those ones that I don't know how to pronounce, the Sabalito. Let's just go with that. The Sabalito top from Itch to Stitch. This comes in sizes UK 8 to 22. Um, this also comes with multiple bus cup options, so it comes with A, B, C, D and double D cups. Again, if you're looking for bus um, patterns with bus cups, itch to stitch are really fantastic for that so I would also go and check out I'll pop I'll pop links to all of these things down below so um, if you've never come across itch to stitch patterns and you've got a bigger bust it's definitely worth checking out because she all of them nearly have got um, different variations I really liked this I first saw it when it came out and I was a bit like uh, it didn't it didn't like make my heart sing if I'm being honest when I first saw it but the more and more I've looked at it, the more and more I thought, actually, this is such a useful item of clothing to have. This, to me, is the thing that you put on when you're not quite sure what to wear or what the temperature is going to be like. If you're going to be, you know, as we're going forward into spring, I mean, sort of, it is coming. Um, when you think it's going to be a bit warmer than it is, this I thought this was that sort of item that you take with you in your bag to put on when you get a bit colder. Um, it's a really lovely, simple jersey pattern. Um, it shouldn't take you very long to make. It's got this really nice little detail, tie detail at the front, which is actually kind of sewn in. So you you tie the knot, but it's 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 not a wrap. The tie doesn't hold it together. It's actually sewn closed, and that's just a little detail. Um, it's got a grown-on sleeve as well, which means again it's going to be quite quick to make. I thought this would be 
it also has bust darts as well. I just thought this was really nice. I think this would be a good way to use up some leftover fabric. Um, and I thought also the other thing that you could do is colour block it. I thought it would be quite nice if you have different parts. You could even have the wrap in two different colours. Um, and again, in terms of fabrication for this, if you want it as more of a proper jumper, you could make this in a ponty. But if you wanted it almost as a t-shirt, you can make it in a viscose jersey. So it's really like loose and drapey. But I thought this was a really lovely pattern. And I think it's one that you could probably get quite a lot of wear out of. Right, last but definitely not least, we've got the Jules Woven Tunic from Stylark. This is available in sizes UK 4 to UK 26, no UK 30, sorry. Um, it's not available on the online shop. Um, I loved this shirt, I just wanted to include it because I think it's one that a lot of us would, it would suit a lot of shapes, it'll feel nice to wear and it's nice and loose which I am always pro. So this blouse has got, um, it's a v-neck at the front, buttons down the front, it's got this really lovely curved um, curved seam line just below the bust with, get, with, get, with kind of a big gathered panel. I think this would look really nice on lots of different body shapes. I also thought if anyone is pregnant this could be a really nice maternity option. Make it, if you size it up and make the long, the front panel a little bit longer than the pattern. I think that could be a really nice maternity option. Um, it's got lovely, it's just got lovely details. It's quite loose fitting and I think you could wear it with lots of things. I think it would look lovely with jeans. Um, in terms of fabrication, you could make this in a cotton, you could make it in a viscose and it would feel a bit more dressy to wear out or a crepe. Um, yeah, I felt like this pattern, there was lots of things that you could do with it. And yeah, I think, you'd get a lot of wear out of it. Right, so that is it from me. Um, I hope I wasn't talking too much gibberish this time. If I was, it, I've, yeah, I'm sorry. Next time I'll be better. And um, yeah, we'll be back soon with another video. I think that is So The Trends coming up very soon, guys, because I got a lot of requests for that at the Stitches Festival. So I will be doing it, don't worry. I'm about to put my detective hat back on. Have a lovely weekend, bye.